You can trust me. I've only just met you. And I came in here and I find you gutting your boyfriend like a fish. And for what? To bring him back again and again? It's powerful. Just as the prophecy predicted. I feel like it's coming, all coming together. It's Joe, my friend. And my son. I know. Chief! Chief! You know, bloody careful. These diamonds are worth millions. I'm sorry, Carl. I was just keeping look out, like you said. And don't use my real name, Lewis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't wait to get rid of these. When I get my share of the cash, I'm getting as far away from you as possible. Now that makes me sad. My two friends just can't get along, but you know what, guys? There'll be plenty of time for that later on in prison. Carl, do something. What did I say about my name? Yeah, Lewis, what did Carl say about using your real names? Carl, he knows our names. It's OK. We know his. It's dead, man. Oh, no. Big pointy knife. If only I was some sort of superhero vigilante. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm a superhero vigilante. You're that freak. A superpower freak. Now, give me back the diamonds, and I promise you, when the police find you, there won't be any burn marks on your face. No way. I warned you. Hey! Oh, I'll kill you. I swear I will kill you. I want you. Detective Inspector, I didn't get a chance to speak to you at the hospital. Are you okay? Look, I don't mean any disrespect, but I'd rather not do this now, okay? My friend's in a coma, in a hospital, and he, he might not wake up. I'm going to find that bastard. I'm going to deal with this myself. I understand how you feel, Ian, but Charles Sloan is a very strong man. He will wake up from this. I feel for you. When I lost my husband, I wanted revenge too. I want to be put in charge of this investigation. I'm going to bring in Marshall myself. Of course you do. It's natural. But it would be very irresponsible of me to allow you anywhere near this case, considering your personal involvement. But I'm the only witness. I'm sorry, Mullen. I hate pulling rank, but I am in charge here. What am I meant to do? Sit in my arse and watch a Muppet squad mess up yet another investigation and let Phillips and Marshall get away with yet another murder? I don't think so. You don't have time to sit around. You're a detective inspector now, and that means you've got a new inspector to train up. We're assigning you to work with Inspector Billy Shipton. But I don't want another partner. Obviously. But this is my station, and you will do as I see fit. Yes, ma'am. You're an exceptional detective, Mullen. I know you are. You've been to the brink. You've come back from the brink. Sloan saw that in you. Don't let him down. Thanks, ma'am. Cheer up, little brother. Should be Christmas.
but no hug for your big brother. Michael? That's my name and this is my face. Absolutely. You've got a lot of explaining to do. No, in fact, scratch that. Just go back to your address. I don't even want to hear what you've got to say. Things don't change, eh, Jason? You've been gone for five years. I thought you were dead. Me? Dead? I don't think more than three years in prison to kill me. Three years? And where were you? Helping out a friend. Doing some research into a personal project. And taking your share of that's in here. Oh, well, now slow down there, champ. Now you know I'm not the only one that's been taking a bite out of the money that Dad left us. All right, Mike. What do you want? Are you gonna let her? Great. Well, then you know I want to just be like the old days. Mike and Jason kicking ass. Protecting the Mackenzie name. The old days are dead. They died with Dad. Well, let's bring them back. Things are different now. It's complicated. Well, you look different. You look fantastic. My big brother's allowed to say that. I'm not how I used to be. Maybe that's just what we need. Need for what? To steal back Dad's cross. I could take your pain away. And do it, Claire, all right? Come back with me. I'm here for you, Ian. But... No, please, I... Claire, look, I can't deal with this right now. I know it feels like... you've lost everything, but you've not. Have I lost you? I'm sorry, Ian. I need more time. God, I feel like the whole world's against me. Between you and that old scumbag Scott Marshall. I know he's up to something. You come here and you tell me you need me and then you talk about work. How am I supposed to compete with that, Ian? I don't know, Claire. All right, maybe you're supposed to try. Hello, Ian. Hey, Bill. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And please, call me Billy. My mum always called me Bill, and I've never liked it. Doesn't help me you're a policeman named after that TV show either, you know? All right. Billy it is. I've got to be honest with you, Billy. I'm not looking for a new partner. Chief says I have to, then fine. But I've got some unresolved issues I need to deal with. Mr Phillips and his associates? I read up in your file, your reports. I just wanted to be up to speed in everything that's been going on. Then you'll know that Scott Marshall's connected to Phillips. I'm aware of your suspicions. I've not found anything to suggest the two are connected in any way. Trust me, he's connected to Phillips. And I'm going to bring him down. You seem to have a real grudge against Mr Phillips. Does 20 years of charity work for children and cancer research mean nothing to you? Well, I don't care what newspapers say about him or the so-called good that he's done. Phillips is a murderer and an evil bastard. He's got this city brainwashed into thinking he's some kind of saviour. And believe me, he's just scum. I don't want to risk ruining a partnership before it's began, Ian, but I need to know, and I want you to be honest with me, just what have you got against Mr Phillips? Look, I've seen things, things you could possibly imagine. I've seen a guy fight a crime with electricity sparking out of his body. I saw last superintendent, Stevenson, possessed by a demon. And that's all thanks to your so-called saviour, Mr Phillips. Demons? Don't be ridiculous, Ian. These are kids' stories. Hey, I've seen people being possessed by demons. People killing other people. It's real, Billy. It happened. Look, I know you were under a lot of pressure at work, Ian. It's perfectly understandable that your brain might have made up these stories to help you cope with the trauma. I wish it was all just a bad dream, believe me. I wish I'd only dreamt I'd ran through the street watching people kill one another. 
I wish it was only a dream when Frank Stone put a knife inside me. Maybe my, my wife when he lost her baby. And Charles Sloan when he'd be in a coma. I know the pressure of this job can get to you. Look, then you'll understand quick, especially working with me. You'll find out the truth. Sorry, Ian. I was trained to believe that without evidence, a story means nothing. Now, come on. We really need to get to work. I hope my opinions won't affect us working together. No. Not at all. There's something I need to go and deal with first. Well, here it is. This should be easy. Do we really have to do this? You want to get back Dad's cross, don't you? It belongs to us, Jason. It's our birthright. What are we going to do when we get it? Split it 50-50? That's not important right now. As long as we get it. Look, I don't know. Don't wimp out on me now, little brother. This is important to me. You don't let me down again, do you? That wasn't my fault, and you know it. Look, I'm just saying. I need you focused. I need to know that you'll do whatever it takes this time. Can I trust you? Yes. Good. Now, there's a security system here. We just need to get past that. If we don't get past it, the police will be tearing us a new one. I think I can get past it. Wait, that seems too easy. The gate's electrified. You take care of that? Yeah, I'll take care of that. Can't do this, Ian. Stay out of this, Captain. Right, James. Where's Scott Marshall? I'm not telling you anything. Is that right? I'm going to count your three, son. Oh, I look really scared, don't I? All right. You remember the last time I counted three, son? All right. Right, right, it's done. This guy, <coughs> he says he's seen that Scott count uh, some art gallery. Uh, right. That was last week. He, he took some. What? What did he take? I don't know. Think fast, James. This is really important. I says I don't know. I know what you said. I can't hold him back forever, all right? Yeah, Shepton, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah, I understand. Right, we're on our way. There's been a break in at McPherson's estate. We're to investigate. Says who? The chief. Oh, and I'm to pass on a message. What? Don't argue with her. So lucky me, boy. I'll see you later, James. In a So, how long have you been a freak then? Excuse me? Well, okay, I'm sorry. How long have you been this much of a freak? Are you serious? Oh, come on, little brother. I've not seen you for three years. Yeah, and where have you been for those three years? Tell me the truth. Busy. Busy? Is that all I'm getting? Really busy. All right? Now come on, 
How long have you been able to uh, spark up like that? For two years. And how did Lucy take it? Ah. Don't worry. I'm over it. Of course you are. Quite a little heartbreak, aren't you, little brother? <clears throat> Quite the ladies, man. Probably got some young girl on the go just now. Well, the last girl was a bit challenging. She's still around? No, I told her to leave the city. Or I'd kill her. You know what? I think it might be downstairs. I'm really, really sorry. Tell me the truth. Where have you been? Okay. I'll tell you the truth. I was... You? What are you doing here? We're here to stop you. You kidnapped Amy. Tell me where she is. That is of none of your concern. You're wrong. It's every bit of my concern. Now tell me where she is. You shouldn't be here. You will not get what you're after. You stole our dad's cross. We just want it back. A war is coming, Jason. Are you on the right side? Shut up. Let us leave with the cross and tell me where Amy is. No. Do not interfere with things you do not understand. Fair enough. Are you going to give me what I want? We must protect the crumb. I don't want to destroy you. Oh, I've got so much in common. Why do you side with a man who so quickly left you to fight alone? He had to. He doesn't have the same powers as me. If you use the cross, you will fail. Let's just get this over with. No. No. I don't know, get help. Don't let them beat you, Jason. If you stay strong, you will save us all. Well done, little brother. It's a hell of a show you put on. You didn't have to kill her. She was going to kill you. You didn't know that. Well, it sure looked like it from where I was standing. And where was you standing? I was getting my gun to save you. Why did you come back here? Tell me the truth! Jason, we don't have time for this just now. Okay, I'll tell you once we get out of here. I promise. Stop right there! You're under arrest for breaking any injury. Anything you say can, it will be... Sorry, officers, but we are leaving. Don't be stupid. You're not going to use that gun and you know it. Don't push me, all right? I'm a desperate man. Just put the gun down. We can talk about this, okay? I don't have time for talking. 
She's got enough time to leave on a plane out of this country. That's not gonna happen. I will spread the insides of his brain all over your car if you don't drive away right now. Just let him go and put the gun down. <laughs> That's her. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Jason, but the wolves are barking at the door and I need this cross to make me a lot of money. You can't do that, Dad. That's dead, Jason. Live in the present. Sorry. It's all right. Are you all right? Aye. Who was that? Somebody I thought I could trust. Got electrified gangsters coming round here. Nah. Just superheroes. So the gangsters just possess people with demons? Well, you seen that with your own eyes, didn't you? I'm sorry for doubting you. Sorry. I nearly didn't believe it myself at first. So you think this is connected to Phillips? I think so, I. Well, let's go question him then. We'll see if we can trip him up. Nah. He's too smart for that. Scott, he's the key. We need to go through him. He's Philip's go to guy. What about him that got away? I'm not too sure. But we'll get to the bottom of it. Phillips, he's not going away with it. No, this time. How close did he get the last time? Nearly took down the city. So stopping them's definitely a good idea. Yeah. Come on. Get in the car. Welcome back, Scott. Was the mission a success? The brother did his task well. Excellent. Make sure the funds are paid into his account. Did he accept the offer? Hmm. Killing his own brother? Of course he did. In that case, get us two glasses of my finest whiskey. We've a lot to celebrate tonight. Mr. Phillips isn't paying you for your errands. He's paying you for your services. Which you'll get full use of. So relax. Why don't you take her somewhere safe? Because me and this young lady can sort things out between ourselves. Do you think you can handle me yourself? What? You're a problem, eh? You're a criminal! Why are we turning into a vampire? <laughs> You've got a wee job and need a spare pair of hands, you're interested. It's on a level, eh? It's on a level. Alright. I'll do it. 